Well, hello there, gentlest of internets. How are you today? Welcome to another exciting episode of Mark's Electric Kayak Project. We last finished with a very successful test of the, uh, the motor. Um, except for one small problem. It was overheating the speed controller and we were getting thermally throttled um, and I couldn't go fast for more than a few seconds. The next thing I did was uh, mount some cooling around the speed controller which was sitting in here. Got some nice airflow happening there. That was pretty good. That got me, you know, 15-20 seconds at full power before it started to slow down. Um, and continuous power of about 500 watts, so, you know, 8 or 9 amps, which was pretty good actually. Um, but, you know, me not being satisfied, I thought I will go and I'll get the professional desk aluminium case with beautiful heat sinking. I will mount it onto a bigger heat sink. Um, we will take it out onto the water and we will be able to go fast all day long. And uh, it turned out to perform worse. So uh, that was a fail. I decided that I needed a bigger speed controller. And there it is. It's capable of 75 volts and 50 amps continuous. So the idea is that's not going to get throttled. Fingers crossed we can just crank out the maximum watts all day long. The other thing I didn't really like was this little servo tester that I was using to control the speed. Uh, it did get wet uh, on one voyage which made life exciting and the motor just stopped working. Uh, once it dried out I cleaned it up and it was working again and I can formal coated it and I didn't have any problems since then but uh, the resolution of it, it's really cheap, the resolution of it's it's not good and you know it's extra wires, we don't need extra wires. So uh, what we have now got is we have got a 3 channel 2.4 gigahertz receiver and uh, we are going to use this antique that I have lying around. Quick demo. Pull the trigger. And away we go. Forwards and backwards. It's actually pretty touchy, so the other thing is I'm going to have to keep this dry because it's not waterproof. But it'll lead to something else. I think the first thing we need to do though is check out this thing and make sure that it can deliver full power all day long. So let's do a quick check at the river. Well, here goes. go as well as planned yesterday. Motor conked out. Now it's behaving very much like it's burned a phase or something. Uh, I've gotten it back here. Tried it with the other ESC. Motor's still playing up. So it's not the ESC. Um, this may have fried itself. I'm going to pull it apart and have a look. That's totally cooked. Stinks too. A bit disappointing. I wasn't pulling more than the rated power through it, but uh, I guess the little TPU jackets that I had around it were a bit too much insulation for the water cooling. So there's nothing for it. I need to get a bigger motor. The next size up is rather more expensive. So feel free to throw money at me um, for no particularly re good reason other than that you want to see me blow more money on a stupidly powerful electric kayak. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next video with a larger motor and another surprise. Catch you later. Blah.